Good evening, everybody. How y'all doing? And welcome to the first ever live mock draft from the Hogside crew. I'm your host, CJ the Hog. We got DMV champ. And Vic Sam is running, running a little bit late in traffic. So let's hope he gets in on time because he's playing a valuable role. In yeah, this, that is uh, correct. In this that is correct. But I think we're going to hold it is, down. Man. He is Dan Quinn. So <laughs> that's me. You know? Oh, man, he that's needs to get here early, dude. Right, he needs to get here. You know, we needed him like yesterday. But um, I hope you guys are ready. You guys know what it is. We're going to get it popping. We're going to get it. We're going to get it live. So I hope you guys are ready. Grab your popcorn. It's going to be fun. CJ, you got it. You say what? We back? Yes, we back. It was we like back? a technical difficulty, dog. Okay, yeah. All right, so we're back. All right, so let's get this thing on the popping, everybody. So, uh, let me change a little frozen here. Um, yeah, I think Champ is a little frozen here. Uh, we're just going to put him in the back seat. All right, my bad, y'all. Technical difficulties. I don't know what's going on, but we're back. So we're doing a live mock draft, right? The draft is in two weeks, and I've been hearing a lot about who to choose. Is it going to be Caleb Williams? Is it going to be Jaden Daniels? Is it going to be Drake May for all the mayonnaise folks out there? Um, You know me. I'm a tackle guy, right? I'm an old line guy. I'm always going to stick with my guns and going to uh, go for the uh, the offensive line. You know, that's just me. You know, uh, let's go to the comments real quick. Chuck, what is going on? Chuck, what it do? And we're back. There we go. We're back. Man, what happened? I don't know. <laughs> ja, what's up, Ja? How you doing, man? Ja, with the Iran Network. Um, so look. Man, hey. So I'm, I want y'all to I want y'all to understand something, right? So I'm not playing a GM role this time. Okay. I'm not playing a GM role. I am Josh Harris. Hmm. Okay? I'm Josh Harris. So I'm sitting back. I'm just sitting back. I'm letting Adam Peters do his thing. And who is Adam Peters? It's my guy right here. It's my guy. <laughs> I'm and ready to cook, is, baby. So from what I understand, it's your second time as Adam Peters, right? So what was your first time like as it was uh, fun? It was fun. Uh like I was like I was stating, uh I was on Deuce Podcast, uh Red Zone the Lab. Please check that out. It was dope. I had fun. Um man, uh he made me Adam Peters. And when this draft started, I ended up trading down with the Arizona Cardinals. Like I said, I swapped the they, they, I think they had the fourth overall pick and I swapped with them. And still end up getting Jaden Daniels and also getting us a premier left tackle. And then I went into the second round and got us another guard. And um, and then we started drafting corners. And I just kept picking players on the way down. We went defensive heavily towards the back end. But it was crazy. It was surprising the people that the, the prospects that were still available that, that moved, that pushed down. It was crazy. It was some still some hell of a good players in the second round that should have been the first. So it was fun. It was a nice experience, man. Yeah. So this this is this is my very first like live, like live on screen uh mock draft. So I'm a little excited. I'm a little excited. <laughs> I, 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 I took some time to be able to sit back, look at some draft prospects, um, really like look at like who's in deep because we're not just doing the first two rounds. We're doing seven rounds. We're doing oh, seven no. rounds. Oh, so we're gonna try to get 
through this as much as possible. All right. Yes, we have to. We got, yes, sir. We, we got two hours. We're now an hour and fifty-five minutes. <laughs> so we're going to try to we're going to try to get through this. All right. All right. We're yeah. Going to try to get through this. Um, if we don't get through all of the rounds, depending on what round that we ended in this off at. We are going to we are going to continue on the next episode of the okay. We might even have a special guest with us, you know, um, to add some flair to it. To bring okay, in I'm Cliff down Kingsbury. with that, brother. All right, to bring in Cliff Kingsbury. Let's see what let's see what old Cliffy Cliff have to say. Gotcha. Right. So, um, man, we're waiting for Dan Quinn. I'm sorry, y'all. You know, Dan Quinn. He he usually doesn't show up this early. You know, anyway, you know, um, but he doesn't show up late either. Well, we got to get started, bro. We got to get started. You (laughs) said we got a timer. Yeah, we got a timer. We got to get started. So let's work together. So I'm setting the clock at 10 o'clock in one minute. Okay, that's fine. One minute for draft. I'm going to try to get this thing like really, really like, uh, Okay, so we are the Washington Commanders, of course. Uh, let me share the screen. Okay. All right, and before we start, everybody understands the Bears has the first pick, the first overall pick. Caleb Williams. Um, Adam Peters, what are you doing? Yes, sir. I'm ready. You ready? I'm ready. Are you, are, you, are you making trades with the Bears at all? No, I'm not trading up. No. Okay. So are you ready to start this? Yes, sir. All right. We are now on the clock. Uh, my mind is made up. <laughs> I'm taking Jaden Daniels with the second overall pick. Ooh, Jaden Daniels. Uh, what, what? Where the heck? Why they got him all the way at the bottom? Wow. Oh, won't you just click on position? There you go. There go. My man. 21? 21? 21. Wow. But- We're we going to draft him. Let's go. Don't worry about it. We're taking Jalen Daniels from LSU. All right. Um, Jaden Daniels as the number two overall pick of the Washington Commanders. Oh, yeah, and the Cardinals did me dirty. Yeah. Oh man. So now we have pick now we have pick 36. What are we doing with this draft? I'm not gonna lie. Look, Adam, listen. I understand. That you might want to go another skill position. No, not right now. I I need the tackle. I need you to go to the offensive lineman, sir. That's a priority. We got our quarterback. Let's protect him. Okay. Who? Scroll down. Give me that list. I see one, two. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to be honest with you. Yes, sir. Just go ahead and get Jordan Morgan. Go ahead and get Jordan Morgan. What's wrong with Blake Fisher for Notre Dame? No, I'm asking. I'm asking. I'm asking. Trust me when I tell you. Go Jordan Morgan first. Get Jordan Morgan. Right, draft Jordan Morgan. Jordan Morgan. We got him. Hold on, wait. What's going on? What's up, Radar? What's up, Shadow? Radar. He said the disrespect. Shadow Stepper, why is it disrespect? Who who do, who do we messed up on already? Is it the offensive lineman? I hope you ain't saying the quarterback. With the 36. So we taking Morgan. In the, field, the man to select Jordan Morgan. And now we have 40. Okay. Now we have 40. Oh, okay. Now that this is getting a little I'm, interesting. I'm not going to. I'm not going to lie. Mm. Is that all positions or are you still in tackles? 
That's all, it's all position. All positions right now. You want to just look at tackles right now? So we got one of our offensive tackles. Who else is on there? On there, that's good. I mean, like I said, Blake Fisher, Patrick Paul. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be honest. I didn't expect for uh, Swamatea to, to still be here at this point. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. You know about offensive line more than I do, so talk to I, me. I prefer King. Like right now. I would prefer Kingsley over Kieran, but Kieran isn't a bad pick. Blake Fisher isn't a bad pick. But I don't think that both of them is better than uh Swamatea right now. I, I all right, I take I'll take your trust in, in the offensive line, so let's draft them. So we got our tackle solidified. Joel, what's up, Joel? What's up, Chad? I don't know the fact that he had JD is twenty number twenty one pretty value for us. Sheesh. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, I definitely agree. I agree with you on that. So we got our two tackles in the second round. So CJ, I don't want to hear nothing else about offensive line. We got a quarterback. We got both our, our our tackles. Now we're gonna go get some some dogs. Let's go get some more dogs. So we in the third round about to be right. Uh yes sir. Number sixty-seven. Go to wide receiver. Go to wide receiver or go to corner. All right, we in wideouts. All right, keep going down. Keep going down. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Go back up. Go back up. Go back up. Keep going. I wonder if he's going to be there because we got three thirds. Go to corner. DB. Oh, there you go. All right, mm. scroll down, my friend. Mm. Hold on, yeah, okay, I see, I see it. I'm not, ah. I'm, I'm not gonna lie, Kyrie Jackson at 67, not a bad deal. I like Cam Hart too, though. I really like Cam Hart. Not a bad deal, Kyrie Jackson still there on the board around this time. I like yep. Kyrie Jackson. I also like their uh Jari and Jones for Florida. Keep going State. down. Yeah, that that Cam that Hart. Cam Hart joint is is yeah. Well, do you really want to take Cam Hart right now? I, I like here's my thing. With the with his rank being at one twenty two and his ADP at one sixteen, one of those things is where are you going to now, my thing is if he falls if he falls down to the next pick. Then I grab him. I just don't think he's gonna be there. But go up. You talking about the corner from Oregon? You keep talking about him. I haven't heard nothing about cause Kyrie Jackson. Well, here's 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 Kyrie Jackson. He's played twelve games in twenty twenty three. Had a overall grade of uh eighty and a half. Um, eighty and a half as far as the PFF grade, eighty point five. Um, he allowed nineteen receptions. Uh, targeted 38 times, allowed 200 yards, allowed one touchdown, has three interceptions, and allowed a passing rate of 41.6. Not gonna lie, very impressive. Very impressive. Um, we're looking at the next guy. The next guy is Andrew Phillips. You see where the decline is when you when you're looking at the amount of reception and target, right? Yeah. And touchdowns and stuff they give up. I'm looking at all that. So you got Renato Green, um, Florida State Seminoles. Um, had a pretty good had a pretty good year in 2023 and in 2022 as well. Um, it seemed like his uh, his sec. It seemed like 2022 was more of a better year for him. He yeah. only gave up one touchdown. Mm-hmm. Huh. But then you got Jarian Jones, another guy I was talking about, right? Um, that he had a good year. Yeah, he had a good year. He he did he did. How tall like, is he? And, um, did they give you they 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 uh? Yeah, he's six foot one ninety one. Hmm. Hmm. 
He's a good slot corner. He's a good slot corner as well. Something that we've been struggling at. Struggling at finding yeah. a guy to put in place. So, All right, we're not yeah. gonna waste time. We're not gonna waste time on this. So we're going. Uh, I let you. I blind let you make a decision on this one. Because, like I said, I'm on, I'm a Cam Hart fan. I'm not too much of the other guys that you have on there. I'm not too fond of them all the way. I don't know too much about them. Here's the thing. Here's another guy that you can look at, right? You can look DJ at DJ James. James. Yeah, DJ James from Auburn. 6'1", 164. He was tied for 11th in force completion, force incompletion. He was tied 15th for cover stop. Um, uh, last year he had one. He had one drop interception. Um, allowed 385, uh, three touchdowns, had two interceptions, um, allowed 32 out of 52 targets or reception targets. It, it, it had a pretty good year and solid years in 2022 and 2023. You know what I'm saying? Not bad. Not bad. Um, his first look, if you look at what well, down here at PFF, you can uh -huh. take PFF for the grain of salt if you want. But just pretty much, you know, you're saying that he brings the competitiveness and the mentality you want. From he the lacks of top speed and strength. Right. <sighs> Excuse me. And he lacked your top speed and strength likely okay. limit him to rotational or spot start a role. Mm. I'm going to pass on that. What was what was Emmanuel Forbes' weight coming in? Uh... That's a good question. It was like 161, something like that. You got me on that one. I can't remember, to be honest. Yeah. Let's uh, go with the kid. Go with the kid from Oregon. And let's move on to the next pick. I I, I get it. It's, 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 it's a lot of good. It's a lot of it's a lot of good um cornerbacks in this. Wow. Yeah, oh, go I ahead and get them. I want to take a look at Cam Hart real quick. This might be something that we can really come back to um, when the time is right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, I'd rather go with Gary Jackson. Go ahead, pick him. I like I said, I have to watch his video. We got him? Yep, we got Kyrie Jackson. All right, go back to wide receiver. Oh, Jalen Wright on there. Oh, man. Keep Blake Corn on that, John. Go to a hat out there. Uh, let me get Malachi Corley. Brendan Rice is, is no slouch. But Malachi Corley, he's a dog. That's your, is that your pick? That's my guy. I'm I'm I like him. I like him a lot. Okay. That's your final pick before, before yeah. I give me get Malachi Corey. All right. And how many yeah, this that was we got one more third, right? This the last third? Uh, yeah, this is the last third. Correct. Go to linebacker. Oh, you know what we did. Wrong shit. Excuse my language. Uh, who we got? Who we got? Who's available? Um, that he Ben came off the board. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh man. Oh. Uh, um, I'm not gonna lie. I do like Eichenberg. Do like Eichenberg, right? However, we need a guy that. Hmm. I don't know. I Is think, he I think fast? Have, hmm. Ah, man, this this is this is tough. This is definitely tough. Um. Cedric Gray. 
We definitely need another linebacker. Oh, man. I don't see Trot on there. And I don't know who else the next best uh, middle linebacker or just linebacker that's worth good. Or let's go to Edge. You probably might have some more knowledge at Edge. I'll take an Edge. Okay. We definitely need it. And I know Chop Robinson is gone. And feel free to comment, y'all. Um, those who are watching, feel free to comment. Uh, we would love to hear your um, your thoughts or your uh, suggestions um, of where you would go. So you said look at Edge? Yeah, I didn't see no linebackers I really found too fond of. Xavier Thomas for Clemson. Grace and Murphy. Oh, excuse me. I apologize. Excuse me. Where are you about to go? Tight end. Uh, I see Ben Sanat. I see Kay Stover. I heard K. Stowe was pretty good. I didn't get a chance to watch all his film. I never heard of Eric Hall. He from Iowa. I, that's one thing I can say about Iowa. You're going to get a good tight end and offensive lineman from Iowa. Hands down. That's all they produce. Man. What's his stats? What, what's it looking like? For Eric? Um, he only played seven games. He got injured. That's a good question. I'm gonna pass on him for right now. That's just a turn off to me. Why you didn't finish the whole season? Yeah, I mean, you probably. He probably didn't start the whole season. Um, we got we got to choose a guy though. We got to choose. A guy. Uh, go back to tight end. I'm gonna rock with Cade Stover. Cade Stover. Yes, for, right. from D Ohio State. All right. We don't got no fourth, so we got fifth. Mm -hmm. Let's say we, we we don't have no fourths this year, so we got a fifth. Yep. Now, this is all best available? Oh man, Joe Milton's still on the board. What you want to get another another offensive lineman, CJ? Yeah. So how many offensive linemen you need, bro? As many as we can. Bro, listen, we listen. just got our inside taken care of. Our guards are going to be straight. It was the tackles we needed. We got tackles, right? But this is what I'm saying. Zach Zenter. Zach Sensor still being on the board around the next few picks. John, you, you won't you won't be So you want to get another lineman. Go ahead and drive him. Not about what I'm with. Uh, no, I got it. I'm 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 thinking about uh also maybe another corner. We can lose a we can definitely need another runner back. I want a fast runner back. What about a what about a defensive lineman? We can definitely do that because we don't know what's the deal going to be with, uh, you know, uh, Jonathan Allen. Makai Wingo. All the other uh, good uh, D tackles are gone. Yeah. Um, edge rushes. Uh, and a lot of there. Yeah, Grayson Murphy. Yeah, I'll take a stab at Grayson. Is Grayson at Miles Brothers? Um, 
I'm just curious. <coughs> Possibly. I don't know. Okay. I don't want to hear something I'm wrong. Yeah, let, but let me let me take uh Grayson. Grayson Murphy? Yeah, it's an edge. Okay. I don't want to see no more offensive linemen. Um. Oh yeah, running back. You know what? 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 You, I need you to go all the way up. I, I already see one player I like already. And he's gonna be a sleeper. Mm-hmm. I see two. I don't know who the other is yet. Yeah, I see two. That's Who's the other guy? Jace McKellen. McKellen. I like Frank Gore Jr. He a dog. In the senior in the senior bowl game, he but went you. off. I'm, t- I'm I'm taking Frank Gore Jr. And how many we got left? We got one more pick left. All right. All right. Who's Mr. Irrelevant? Mm. Who is Mr. Irrelevant? You know what? I know. I know, bro. But I, I. Hit me out on this. Okay? <laughs> you about to hit go me. back old line, dog? Hit me out on this. Come on, my man. A name Donqua. Who? A name Donqua. He's 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 raw. He's raw, bro. With the right coaching. Sam, get me out. I'm listening but, to you. But you know, got some other good guys. You got Tali attack. Uh, Younger by Lower, yeah, to his uh, young, younger brother. Yeah, I heard he might be uh, undrafted. He might not get drafted. <laughs> Got any sleepers that that you see here? I'm looking, bro. You you know more college football than I do. I just know a little bit, you know. Um, I'm trying to think what position we still need to address. Oh. <laughs> So the, the McGregor brothers, they were. Uh, you think we should go get another safety? I don't see why not. Strong safety. Go to strong safety. It's just safety. <coughs> yeah, it's just safety. Yeah. <sighs> Hold on, Doc. He's off the. It's like the players that I know, they're gone. They, they, they're gone. They're gone. Uh, Dimani Richardson. Since you're the owner, I'll let you make Mr. Relevant pick. Uh, it's the seventh round. Did we choose a running back? Huh? Did we choose I told you you can back? choose who you want. It's the seventh pick. It's the last pick, right? Yeah. Yeah. Grab who you want, Brody. Mm-hmm. I don't see any these guys out here. I just don't recognize them. That's all. If you had to do it any, mini mighty, mode, you can do that too. Jordan Witt, Witt, or oh, Whitington? Is that who you drafted? Hold on.
Come on, man. Don't, uh, make this, don't make this last pick hard, CJ. Like a kid in the cane store. You don't know what you want. We don't need no kicker. Uh, <laughs> I say uh, even get another wide receiver or just get the offensive lineman guy you talked about. Either get a receiver or get the offensive lineman guy you just mentioned. I know what I'm going to do. Trey Knox? Mm -hmm. Okay. It's great in the draft. So how we do? <coughs> we had an overall great draft rate of uh... a B. Yeah. I can rock with that. It's, it's solid. The assistant wanted us to draft Drake May, but we took Jaden Daniels. No, I'm not touching that, that brother at all. That's just me. Uh, I'm not touching him. So I like just, that we got. Just... I like we got both our starting offensive tackles that can come in and and get to get to protect the quarterback. I like those picks. I like the first three picks. Um, the Kyrie Jackson jump, I guess that's good. I like Malachi. I like Kay Stover, Grayson Murphy, Frank Gore Jr. And then the last guy, I'm cool I'm with that. Still, man. Those pieces are stuff to me. I'm still a little on the fence with Malachi. Corey. You say what? I'm a little on the fence about Malachi Corley. Why? You, have you seen his film? I did. He's I a did. dog, bro. Um, just right. Just right now, at this point, um, you know where I'm looking at is, I think we need a guy. I think we need a guy with a little bit of height. Okay. And that's that's why it's, it's sort of. The guy that I wanted with height, the 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 guy that I wanted with height, he was taken in the second round. I forgot who took him from. I want to get uh Xavier Laggett. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Tall, fast. That's what I wanted. And I didn't see he was already taken off the board. Like the pick before us, he was gone. So the people who are watching, I want to ask you guys, what do you guys think about this mock draft? Which is the first of many, by the way. We're gonna do we're gonna do more mock drafts uh pretty soon. Um, I think we're gonna do one next week as well. I'm down actually. with that. We're gonna do one more, and I think I'm gonna play the role of Adam Peters this time. I like that you didn't use the trade back scenario because I did it with the last one. I didn't want to repeat the same steps again. I just wanted to be different. Okay, that's not bad. Um, I'll say this. Good job of getting Grayson Murphy at the time that you did. Good job of getting Grayson Murphy. Um, yeah, hopefully you can pan out. I think we sort of missed out on a uh, linebacker around this go around. Uh, yeah, because like I said, I didn't know no good linebackers. I didn't see Trotter on there. You know, I didn't recognize any of the other prospects. Right. Um. Yeah, that's true. Like I but said, I, I have to. I'm gonna have to do my homework on some more linebackers, and and you know when we do our next draft next week, I'll be more uh, educated, more about the linebackers. I see that I we definitely need another linebacker. Yeah, I, I, I I'm not like I like this. I like this draft. I like this draft. Okay, I thought. I mean, it's it's a solid draft overall. Um, to be honest, with you, it's just a solid draft overall. Um, did, did, I mean, if we could have traded back, I honestly could have traded back. Like I said, I just really didn't want to because I've done it before and we was able to hit on all the great players at that time. 
But since we did something different, I'm happy with the overall board. I think it's it's, it's a really solid board of prospects on there. We got our quarterback. You got your starting left tackles. You got your possible starting tight end if things go smooth. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm cool with it. The only thing is Jaden Daniels had height in LSU, something that we don't have here. You say he had what? He had height in, in LSU. That we that we really don't have the luxury of having here. You talking about a receiver? Talk, yeah, I think the tallest, I think our tallest wide receiver right now is. Well, our squad is probably Di- Diami Brown. Okay, yeah. Well, he, what he six two? Yeah, I think he's six one six two. Yeah. And I know Terry is about what six feet or six one. Mm-hmm. So you want a six four type of receiver? I want I want at least one six two or uh or above dog. Okay. You know what we messed up then? Yami Yami Brown, not that not that guy. I'm I'm just gonna I, I'm gonna flat out and say it. He's not that guy. Oh no, I'm he's done. I mean he might make still make the roster, but dog, somebody need to take that joint from him. He's done. You gotta hit him with he's been here for four years or whatever. He's done, bro. He's done. Four years. Nah, I'm I'm been done with him. Um, I feel like what we messed up at, but like I said, at the same time, it's cool. I feel like we should have just grabbed one left tackle, then got a, a better premier receiver at two, and then went back in the third round and got another tackle. See, here's here's where, here's why I would have went at right. Here's why I would have went at, and I, I'm I'm just gonna show you. Um. <coughs> Uh, oh, Cooper DeJohn was taken off the board. Like Bama's, yeah. I'm 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 gonna be flat out, right? I'm, I'm gonna be honest. What yeah. you about to do? Hear me out. You gonna trade up back in the first round? Oh yeah. Hear me and hear me good. Okay. Yes, sir. You going to move down to 12? Mm. I don't think I would move back that far if you're trying to get your quarterback. <laughs> so you moved to fifth. CJ, what are you trying to do, my man? If I'm trading back, I'm not going past five. Do what? If you, if if they, or if, like I said, if even if you decide to trade, like I said, when I trade back, I trade with the Cardinals. I was like, all right, I trade down, but I'm staying in the top five. I want to at least get me a good quarterback. And then pick up some other picks, you know what I'm saying? You d- yeah. But I, I'm not I'm not trading down to no team numbers. I'm not doing that. No, absolutely. There you go. Just got three picks for the price of one. Okay. So were you who you just traded back now, with? I just traded back with the Chargers. Okay. Okay. Chargers got Marvin Harrison Jr. And, okay. and Patriots picked Drake May. Crowns got my league neighbors, right? So where do we go from here? You still you, get your quarterback. I tell you where we go. Right? You got a P? Where we go. Where Hold we on. go, right? Where we go. You're taking him a, a, a whole whole up. Where we go. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Where we go, right? You, you, you with me? 
Who you, are you drafted? With me? No, who you drafted? Are you with me? Are you with CJ, me? Are you who with me? you drafted? Romeo. So you Luka. draft a receiver. Hear me. I'm, I'm going to listen. I'm going to let you do your thing, Brody. Hear me, right? Yes, sir. All right. So now we're in the second round. Okay. And who is there to pick in the second round? Dude, you, you, you got you got Mike. You got Mike. You got Mike there, right? So this is what you do. Look at look 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 at who you have. Look at the options that you have. I'm not liking the decisions you're making, but go ahead. We got the options that you got, right? What options and do I have? You it's the same to me. You still got the same tackles that was on the board. So go there, right? Go there, right? Okay. And then go back. And then is that the guy you wanted? You want a Blake Fisher? I don't like Blake Fisher, right? So I tell you who I do like. I like KA. I like KA. Hell, I even go back to Paul if I could, right? I even go either him or back to Paul. I'm going to go with the best guy available. That's Kieran, right? So then, while I'm still going down, still give me, still, still give me a PJ. Brody, I don't like your draft. I'm going to let you do it. I do not like your draft at all. But go ahead. You get, you get your guy, right? So then, remember how you were saying linebacker? Is that how you saying linebacker? Hey, yo, this is why I does this. This is why I does this, right? You get Jeremiah Tom. Trotter. You get Jeremiah Trotter, right? Not only that you get Jeremiah Trotter, you get Gary Jackson. Hey, bro. So far. So far, right? This, no, I want you to keep going because I want to see how the draft grade comparisons is. Go ahead. Okay. All right, cool. So so where we at? Where we at? 78? What round we in? Third. Yeah, we in third, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we got two more third round picks. Right? We got we got two wide we got you know, we got a wide receiver. We got a we got a quarterback. We got a quarterback which is which is arguably the better quarterback in the draft. Um you got two tackles. Okay. Two tackles. So where do you go next? I tell you you can go. You can go anywhere you decide to go. You go anywhere. You go anywhere, champ. You go anywhere. But I'm gonna tell you where CJ's gonna go, right? I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna tell you what Adam Peter CJ is gonna go. All right. Adam P Adam Peter CJ is gonna go. Let me tell you who I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get one of. I'm gonna get either these three guys. Dog Leonard Taylor from the U. He's a dog. No, 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 no. I'm not talking about him. I'm talking about Tavondre Sweat. I'm talking about Tavondre Sweat. That's not. He's a dog. Or Michael Hall. You could go Michael Hall. Or you can go Dwayne Carter. You can go any one of those guys. Any one of those guys. But however, I'm gonna go with Devon. I'm going. I'm going with Tavondre Sweat. Okay. And then now we're back here. We're back here with the last third round pick. Last third round pick. And you know? Oh, one of the Murphy brothers already got selected. Did oh, you get that. a corner yet? I got a corner. Got Harry Jackson. Uh Okay. Let's tell you what. No, I'm Come just on. I forgot you did drive him. Let me tell you what though. Let me tell you what. So this is where um <coughs> yeah, I'm 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 gonna come back. I'm gonna come back to that. You say you wanna come back? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna come back to that. 
I like what I see so far. So here's the thing, right? I didn't got everything that I needed. Everything that I needed so far in the first four, no. Oh, how many picks I made? The first five picks of the NFL draft. And I still have four picks left. Keep going. I'm waiting on letting you see what you do. Right. Say, you, you probably get a higher grade since you traded back. Yeah. So the question is, is where can you go? And you say you needed a safety, right? You got the safety who can actually who can actually reach the top. You know, Dadrian, Dadrian Teller Demerson, you can get him. Wait, and then you wait, and then who was the guy that we selected? Uh, Grayson, right? Mm-hmm. I think I think we got Grayson fifth or sixth round. We could draft him. Go ahead. We're in the fifth, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. Oh. Grayson Murphy. Running back. What we have? Hold on, we got two fifth round picks. Yes, we do. No, I, I didn't know. That's why I was asking because you said you don't draft for the other guy. Yeah, because we yeah because we trade it. We trade it right. So this mm-hmm. is what we go. This is what we go. Let me get my interior lineman. Talking about beautiful. You can build your offensive line. You got your quarterback. You got your wide receiver. And uh, you got your cornerback. You got your cornerback. Right? And guess what? You also got your backup running back. Let's see how good you did, my boy. A minus. As a overall? Mm-hmm. That's pretty good. Now, bro. They, they gave me a D plus for Karen, but Kingsley and Karen with Romeo Duns and Michael Penix. Listen, I always say this continuity is a great thing. Continuity is a great thing. We're saying continuity with uh with Joe and Chase. You know, you see, you see that dynamic duo when it comes to quarterback and wide receiver. You have that same. Have- who, who we going to? Like I said, I like. Like I said, I like panics, but I, I just feel like I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. Hey, look, I'm telling you this right here. I like it. <coughs> I like it. I think it's solid. There ain't nothing wrong with it. Like I said, you try you drafted back, which was a good thing. You picked up some more picks. It's cool. Right. So um I just wanted to show you like where where my concept sort of was at. Um because this this is a good exercise, right? Because now we know that. The way I feel is with with the entire draft, things is going to get crazy. It's going to get crazy this draft because Got you. not on, not only that we hold one of the highest cards in the in the uh, in the deck, right? The Bears can do whatever they want at this point. I know the obvious the obvious is selecting Caleb Wilson at uh, at quarterback, right? That's the obvious. With them trading just a few. But just what if this is this is what I thought of earlier this week. Just what if they uh-huh. go Marvin Harrison, they go Marvin Harrison Jr. and finds a way to get Michael Penix. Huh. Like dog, the disrespect I feel towards Jada Days from you is, is highly unacceptable, right? What you mean disrespect? Bro, we need a legitimate franchise quarterback. Somebody can come in immediately to start. I'm not saying Michael Penis cannot, 
but just taking a receiver off Buck, I, I don't know, man. I don't know. Like I said, mm -hmm. I'd rather get my quarterback for sure, then use the second round, get you an offensive lineman, a good one, or unless you're going to take both of your twos and move back into the first round. And yeah, then the back end of the first quarterbacks. round. Yeah, four quarterbacks in this draft. I'm sorry, no. Three quarterbacks in this draft. So I'm ready to start day one. Their names are Michael Penix, Caleb Williams, Jaden Daniels. Those are the three. You said uh, who? Jaden Daniels, Michael Penix, Caleb Williams. Those like I said, I'm a huge Michael Penix fan. I do like him. I'm Once again, maybe I'm just a little nervous on his injuries and the age. Because it's, it's pro-ready, though, man. Like, the way he plays, and he slings the ball, he throws a beautiful spiral and everything, man. It's just, uh, I feel like this team needs a Jaden Daniels, though. We need to get over the hump. We need we need that weapon. That's the way I look at it. We'll see. We'll definitely see. Um, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But no, yeah, like man. I said, by you trading back, you saw when you trade back, you pick up the extra picks, you can do that as long as you find a good suitor. But like I said, I would not trade out of the top five. Heck no. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I I really enjoy um doing mock drafts because it's so creative and that you can go outside of the realm. Oh know? yeah. You can go outside of the realm or you can stay within the realms of what people like with a little twist to it. And that's what the second mock draft that, I, that we just did was about. Like I said, people already don't mention what happens if Adam Pierce takes, you know, Marvin Harrison at two or takes a receiver in the first round. Like I said, me, I, I just want our quarterback, dog. I'm I'm tired. I'm tired of this, dog. I, I like, want our quarterback. Like just just look at look at what I did. Look at what I did, right? Not only that, I got a Like I said, the only unrealistic thing about this this board is Michael Pennis Jr. is not getting drafted in the second round, bro. He's gone in the first. I'm telling you, he's gone in the first. Yeah. He's gone before 20. That's true. That's the only thing. But now, yeah, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna keep it a bean. This is a very good draft board. I can't argue with you. You got a good grade on it. You got you feel you you did everything position to need. You you did it everything position to need. So I'm not mad about that at all. Like I said, I just wouldn't take that route. I just would have got my guy and then work everything else from there. But that's overall completely solid. It's a very good solid draft board. Hey, hey. You should um, post that joint on uh on Twitter too, bro. Post both of the oh, uh, draft markers. Yeah, it's definitely yeah, that'd be cool. Definitely getting posted on Twitter. Um, y'all. Um, uh, before we before we do head out, um, I do want to say that you guys have any like uh any projects that you want coming up, and you you need some dire help, like dire help, like you know, as graphics. Uh, <laughs> um, let's say you know you're trying to do some more drawers, anything of that matter, anything that involves creativity on paper or digital. Um, there is someone who does a very good job of doing that, and her name is uh, her name is Jay. Okay, um, and she's damn good. Look what she done for us. <laughs> she got us looking hey, look. good. I'm saying like. Like, come on, yeah. Like, her work is clean, bro. So, the work speaks for itself. Again, everything has been great from the intro to the outros to the banners. I know you guys have seen the banners. The banners, is, the banners is, are amazing. If you haven't, go on Twitter, go on YouTube. You guys can see it on the YouTube channel. <laughs> You know, so um I enjoy it, but again, make sure that you guys and our information will be posted shortly um before we actually head out. Um but champ. Yes, sir. What are your thoughts, final thoughts on the mock draft? Um and what do you what what exactly I know you want your quarterback, but what is your second priority on, on the list? Oh, tackles. Tackles, hand down. Um, I'm not going to debate or argue with you about that, hands down. Um, like I said, I like some of the moves Adam Adam Peters made during free agency. He ensured the interior. We got we got Cosme. We got the kid from uh, Kansas City. 
and then you got the Dallas center, and then we still got some other some guys that didn't really get enough PT last year. I feel like we got some linemen. But like it's, like I agree with you too. We still need another uh, plate maker receiver on the opposite of Terry. Um, I would like to keep Jahan in the slot and see and let him we work his way back to the outside. But we need another, like you say, another guy like six two, six three, got a little speed on him. You know what I'm saying? Take some snacks to the house or something, yeah. Yeah. And I think losing like Curtis I said, Samuel, I lo- losing Curtis Samuel really, really hurt me because I don't know. Maybe maybe people don't value Curtis Sam as much as I did, but I've been saying if this if this guy is able to stay healthy for the next couple of years, he's gonna he be play, a major factor on this. Bro, game. I'm not gonna sit here dispute. It's a couple of players I'm upset we let go, but once again, from Adam Peter's standpoint, all this roster was trash. We was four we was a four win team. Like I said, I'm mad about I'm I'm be honest, I'm mad about the Curtis Samuel leaving and I'm mad about the Sam Howell leaving, to be honest with you. Respectfully, I get overall the uh, the roster was trash, but when you're talking about bringing in bringing in a guy Ayuk, I just don't think Ayuk is better than Curtis Samuel. Respectfully. Hold on, you say what? I don't think Ayuk is better than Curtis Samuel. Respectfully. You don't think Brandon Ayuk is better than Curtis Samuel? No. no. Bro, Curtis Samuel is really more. I'm just gonna keep it a bean. He's a hell of a slot receiver. He's not an outside guy. And last year, he had a hell of a good season. He played very well. I'm not going to knock him for that. I think he had over 800 yards, about five, six touchdowns. He was very solid. Very, very, very solid. Um, but, bro, Brandon Ayuk be cooking, bro. Every Sunday, he's consistent. He's Curtis consistent. Samuel's been cooking, though. Hey, Curtis Samuel been consistent, too. Like, listen. Bro, Curtis Samuel had gave us really one good year since he'd been signed to us. One? Just, you can pull up the just, stats. Like I said, last year was his was his best year with with this team. Not just one. No. What did he do? What did he do in twenty twenty two? I'm actually upset that you actually said that. Last year he had a very good year, and I think he's gonna. I'm gonna be honest with you. So it's kind of messed up, but let's keep it a bit. Twenty 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 two. He had six hundred fifty six yards with four. And what did he have last year? And last year he had 613 and four touchdowns. This is oh, okay. all I thought he had over 800. playing on the other side, playing on the other side of Terry McLaurin, right? Um, and Debo. Brandon Ayuk is not going to give you 600 yards, bro. You know that. Bro, you know that. You yeah. know that. I'm just saying, if Brandon, if we were to be lucky enough to be smart enough to get Brandon Ayuk, dog, he's going to cook. It's going to be holiday season. Bro, he out there embarrassing corners, dog. Like, his route running is, is, is pretty damn good. It's not – I'm not going to say a Stephon Diggs type, you know, a super elite level, but he's close to, he's close to it. Like, cuz be messing DBs up, and he stays healthy. He plays. He's consistent. Yeah. I mean, like I said, to each his own, I understand you're not a huge fan of Brandon Ayu. Like I said, Curtis Samuel is more explosive than Brandon Ayu, but you 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 got a you got a guy who's a who's definitely an ex receiver. All right. So you gotta think about a picture if you had Terry and him. You would have to pick your poison slowly. Think about yeah, it. Yeah. I just don't think he's that far off. I, I, I just don't think so. Um, and it, it, it kind of sucks. Kind of sucks. You know, it kinda I, sucks. I don't know. It, it, I don't think San Fran is going to let him go. I don't know what's to do with that. Yeah, so yeah. Um, again, like I said, next week we're doing another live mock draft. Okay. Yes, sir. And I'm going to play the role of Adam Peters. All right, and I'm I'm not gonna do what we just did on the second go around. I just want to show you guys that there are other uh, there are other routes that you can go when you select your quarterback and select one of the best quarterbacks in the draft without having to break the bank. You just you have know, to be could, sure of what you're make what could decision end up could end up with JJ McCarthy. 
I hope that doesn't happen. But if it happens, <laughs> like I said, as a as as realistic as I'm trying to make it seem, if we get JJ McCarthy, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm gonna be upset. If we get anybody besides Jalen Daniels with that second overall pick, I'm gonna be a little dis dis this little I'm gonna be a little bit tad pissed off because I'm like this is our opportunity to get a quarterback, a quarterback, and we yeah. do a, we go a different direction. Before we get down to the nitty gritty of what's going to happen next week and uh, what's to come, we're just going to go with these uh, quick commercial break. We'll be right back. Book with the graphic designer here to make your vision come to life. Have a great day. God bless you. All right, so next week, uh, next week we're gonna go live mock draft. We're also going to do a little bit of role playing. Okay. We'll do a little role playing. Um, we might have. We'll try to get some other, some other teams in here, some other team fans in here. We're gonna try to like divvy it up a little bit. Okay. Um, I know we're not gonna probably get through the entire seventh round. With how this is going to go, but however, however, we're going to see where this goes. Okay, but just make sure everybody just stay tuned. Always remember, you can follow the Hog Side on Twitter and Facebook and on YouTube. Likes are free. Subscribe. And Instagram. And Instagram. We are finally on Instagram. I'm. Sorry. <laughs> we are finally on Instagram. And we will be going live pretty soon on Instagram. And also, we have a week and a half left, guys. So we will be officially on the Roku channel under the Iron Network. I so can't you guys wait. can watch all of the Hogside um, <coughs> episodes that you guys want on the Roku channel. We appreciate you guys. You know, we, we, we work. <laughs> Um, so I do appreciate everybody for uh, the support. Five years strong. Man, I can't seem believe that, that, bro. Like I cannot believe that long. It. it don't seem that long, but it's been five years. It's been That's five crazy, years. bro. And there's been some bumps in the road, but I'm I'm actually glad that we are at where we are at and we are just gonna keep growing. Um we do have uh, spinoff show that we are going to launch very soon on a, under the, the brand new um, network of Velocity Sports uh, which will be the Velocity Sports Network show where we're going to be talking about all sports. Nice. Uh, with myself, with myself as the host, BNB Champ here, buddy Zach, my buddy Lou, and um, Big Simp as well. Again, if you guys haven't seen it yet, I please implore you guys Go check it out. It's amazing. It's amazing. Everything has been done so great. So without further ado, this is the official trailer of the new show that is coming. Um, Velocity Sports Network. Let me want to let me see if I can pull it up here. I thought it was here. It was not. Hold on. Ah, here we go. Hey, champ. Yo. So, while I'm doing this, I gotta ask you this. Go ahead. Oh, matter of fact, um, rest in peace to OJ Simpson. Yeah, um, the juice. Yeah, the juice is officially loose. Um, no pun intended. 
Come on, my man. Come on, hey. bro. <laughs> okay. Uh, rest in peace to OJ Simpson. Um, condolences out to his family. Um, man, it was crazy. This is it. Just happened randomly. Just happened randomly. I, you, and then, you heard what I said. I didn't know the brother had cancer. I just know he got out of jail like a year. Crazy. I think it was last year or two years ago. He just got out. Yeah, it was crazy. Is when I first seen it. When I first seen like OJ Simpson passed away, I'm like, no, the juice, no. And then TMZ, TMZ released it, and I'm like, dang man, not the juice. Man, Adam Sheffer pissed me off early though. He he yeah. pissed me off. But um, without further ado, without further ado, everybody, here is of Velocity Sports Network new show that it's coming soon. <laughs> But no, what I was telling you about Adam Peters, bro. The, I mean, not Adam Peters, Adam Fisher or Schaefer, Adam Schaefer, whatever. When OJ died, it was what he typed. He he could have said NFL Hall of Fame running back uh, OJ Simpson has died. This Bama went to go into death about the murder of OJ. He was like, yeah, the guy who had a murder incident in 94. And I was just like, why did you put that? Like, what was the purpose of doing that? Why can't yeah. you just say NFL Hall of Fame running back? Why you got to go into be negative about OJ Simpson, bro? He just died. Yeah, this like didn't make saying, sense. I went, I went smack that, at his ass. Saying that his trial was phenomenal was a phenomenon. I was like, no, I, yeah. I I went smack at him. I was like, this is the second time when it comes to a black person dying or something, and they did something wrong a long time ago. He's so quick to throw that in his thing, and he don't understand. I don't think he realizes that he's doing it, or he he knows that he's doing it. It just it, it, that stuff irritates me. I, I cussed them out on Twitter. I don't care if he blocked me or not. I don't, I'm not cool with that. I'm not. Yeah, man, it's, it's crazy. But again, condolences out to his family. Um, you know, uh, definitely uh, wish them the best. Um, that grievance. Um, you guys have a great night. You guys already know, man. They ain't gotta go home. You gotta get the hell out of here. You gotta get the hell out of here. Peace. Make sure you guys tune in next week. And we guys gonna we gotta go. Oh, and one more we, thing though, CJ. One more thing. So anyone that's uh, anyone that was watching tonight on the Mar Draft, please feel free to go on PFF and participate in the draft and post it to our uh, on our page or DM us. We'll post it for you, man. Um, you know, something fun for you to do and also see how things are from your perspective. That'd be cool. There you go. Always, look, always, please do. Please do. I don't want to seem like I'm the only one doing this. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I love doing it. Don't get me wrong, but no, it's fun. It's fun because yeah, you can you awesome. can do it so many ways, man. It's it's cool. So you guys definitely have a great night, and I'll catch you guys later.